Welcome back to Let's Play Clonal Heroes. No. Why did I want to say that? I haven't played Clonal Heroes in months. Welcome to Let's Play Clonal Beach Volleyball. It's the first time that I got it wrong, too. We've done lots of things with lots of characters. But tonight, we start off with Garland, after all this time. So, I wouldn't really expect him to be a very balanced dude, but he is. He's just slow. Hmm. Oh man, I freaking love playing this tat. <laughs> I like how Tatler and are, are complementary to each other too, except for having no attack whatsoever. So gotta eat got deep. Why does it say it's difficult playing as Garland though? I mean his stats look nice. I guess because you need to put some effort into hitting the ball because his speed's low. That's probably why Tat is really easy. Because she has really high speed. I don't know, but Lola has lowish speed. I don't know. Whatever. Ah. Let's get to it. I don't have two new characters at the same time, but we can have guns with us now. I gotta win. Hmm. <laughs> so we only have one character left to unlock. It's gonna happen pretty soon, I'd imagine. I don't know how many things there could possibly be left to unlock in this game, but I'm sure you're gonna unlock something at some point for completing the game with every character. Yeah, so there is at least one more thing to unlock. Yeah, Quite possibly three. For Garland, um, well, four actually, for each character we have remaining. Not it's not fair. You are challenged in the jumping department. It seems like. Oh yeah, I didn't have a perfect game. Oh my god. Yeah, I kind of forgot. Uh, two episodes, well, last episode, I, I didn't have a perfect game specifically because I opened up with. Gunts, um, missing a serve. As in failing to serve. That time I just got ahead of myself. I just tapped the button twice in a row instead of actually trying to time it at all. That's cool. <laughs> now let's actually have some trouble against the first level ones. There we go. What is with the flips that these guys love doing? Garland had quite the flip there. Violent almost. Nope. Now these beautiful naive level 1 AI opponents. Not only do they not actually return most of the serves you make, they also never hit the ball hard. So, you can just- whoa, on the roof. So you can just sit in front of them, and I was not my the only finger that was even on my controller was my thumb on the square button, or in reality the circle button. But I I apparently mismapped this square button to the circle button or something, which I don't think happened. I don't know if it was a driver issue or what. But the circle and square buttons are switched. I'm too used to it by now though. What to matter? You know, you're useless. Like if, it feels like I'm actually playing volleyball against Amu. It's that level of intelligence. Oh, come on, man. I mean, it make a difference. But I wanted to see the actual animation for shooting a bunch of stuff. It feels so weird playing as this duo now. After all this time. They've been the villains. Okay, so I haven't really said much about. Well, I haven't said anything about who Garland is for that matter. So Garland, he's, huh? He's been in a couple appearances in video games and otherwise. I don't think he appeared in Dream Child and Darkest Soul. He did, however, appear at least briefly. I don't quite recall in the very short-lived Clonoa manga. Not quite short-lived, just short. It was just released once. I don't remember what went on in it. I think Garland had a mansion or something there, and Clonoa just bugged him or something. I don't think it was really even up to anything bad. There wasn't a plot in that manga or anything like that. It was just Klonoa being dumb. <laughs> Pretty much, at least. There was also the side character that was introduced. Why did I get two spurs? Um, which was a moo that, that uh, delivered mail. Aw oh, man, guns! Tat will have gotten that. Yeah, so I know. <laughs> I guess Garland isn't getting an S rank. Oh god, these guys. They cannot jump. <laughs> I 
I guess these two have devised the ultimate defense to direct attacks. Just hit the ball too hard for anybody to actually be able to spike it back down. Anyways, that being said, Garland, of course, debuted in, just like Guns, actually, Dream Trap Tournament. And he also, just like Guns, appeared afterwards in he Heroes. And those were only two games he appeared in, if I recall. Very sure, actually, but those were only two games he appeared in. That's a great dive, you two. You did a great job. Went right, at, right for that ball. I should do spike service. Stop. Low, low. <laughs> Just kind of, kind of got pathetically pushed out of the way. But Garland doesn't really change at all between the two games, I wouldn't say. I mean, what he was doing precisely was different, sure. There we go! Look at the camera and just flop over. That's a satisfying way to pull off a special attack. I wasn't even thinking about what I was doing right there. I didn't realize you could use a special attack to respond as a direct attack. That worked. Anyways, anyways though, yeah, Garland and his personality is pretty much the same between the two games. Just did different stuff in the two games he appeared in. Okay. Guns is useful. There's very much more to say to say than that, I don't think. So, fewer appearances than Guns, although in as far as games go, he's had the same appearances. Of course, Guns had way more screen time than Heroes. It's probably part of what makes Guns a noble character, just the sheer amount of screen time in Heroes. And the amount of plot surrounding him. I wouldn't have that. So I guess that's part of why Garwin is a, a big deal character in this game. Same way Choka is in, I guess, even though he's appeared in multiple games. He's probably the most recognizable protagonist of the series, but he's just not that recognizable. It's far from obscure, but he's also just not, I don't think, one of the characters that you think of when you think of the Kanoa series. Why am I doing so much more poorly than I did when I was playing as Guns, chiefly? I guess, I think part of it was just that I was getting so many aces that I didn't really have to actually play the game. Because of that, I was getting much better score. Uh, there was a little moment of floatiness right there, I liked it. Regardless, just kind of in the air with the ball. I like that. It's dramatic. I think you can see it here a little bit. She lets the ball. Ah, uh, the, camera, the camera angles are not the best in the replays. I just assumed I'd be able to make those. Wrongly. Gun save it! Gun saved it! <laughs> I like that. I really do like that. Please show the replay of that. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> and Guns goes in for the save. That was beautiful. See, never forget that you have two characters at your disposal. <laughs> I'll have to use Garland's special attack at some point. I'm gonna have other opportunities to do it, of course. Not right now, mind you. I will. Done. Oh, I'm happy. You know, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, you, you do see Garland's. Do you ever see Garland's feet? Not like actual like exposed bare feet, but his legs. I don't. I don't think you do. There's one shot I have in particular. I have in mind in particular from Clonoa Heroes. I think you saw the same from the waist up. I think you only ever see Garland ever from the waist up. Because <laughs> I'm just now realizing this. Someone please correct me if I'm wrong. That's really strange. This character has only ever been depicted from the waist up. Not because there's nothing below, just because we haven't seen it. I might be wrong. I want to be wrong. Someone prove me wrong, please. Anyways, see you guys again in the next episode when we, I guess, show off against Guns and Garland. 
okay? Bye, guys.